was actually joking with, and I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, is it Rinorox? I really don't know. But this person sent me three things a few days ago, and I hadn't actually claimed them, but they caught me and asked, and I started joking about envelopes full of cash and lots of other stuff. So I went in and I opened it, and they very kindly sent me the three new operator outfits. The warrior operator outfits. You do not have to actually buy these. I added them to my wish list when Planes of Eidolon dropped because I didn't know there was other ways of getting them. You of course have to complete Saya's Vigil quest to be able to unlock the warrior operator because you are given an amp and blah 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 blah. And then you come in here as your operator, if you are wondering how you open this door, which is just behind Konzu. I keep wanting to call him something else. But you've got to be in operator mode to get through this door. That's one thing that was kind of weird. But these outfits are sold, strangely enough, by this guy, who has been sitting on his big throne back there. But all of these things you can get in here. You get them as blueprints, they take wisps, alloys, uh, breath of the Eidolon, and lots of other things to build just parts, not all of it, just parts of each of the suits. And it's pretty weird because the Doom I mean, 200 of that alloy is nuts. Fish scales? Where's the fish? Oh, actually, I guess you could see that thing round here as a fish scale. That's still, I really like that arm with the gold bits hanging off it. But again, Wisps, Breath of Eidolon, and it's a blueprint. You can use it to craft the armor. Reason I didn't show the pants is because when you actually click on it, uh, you can't scroll out, so you can't actually see the pants, which are down at the bottom. But even the helmets are all in here. And actually, even these look pretty nice don't really have a particular favourite for these, but again, the alloy requirements, the wisp requirements, and the breath of the Eidolon, pretty much it's the same thing nearly every time, and I'm only now realising it is basically this one, which, come on, compared to other stuff, that looks really nice. This one, which, again, that looks really nice. I don't know why, it just does. But there is actually a third one, and this one I you cannot build, it doesn't seem. Actually, if I go back to these, it doesn't actually say there are blueprints for these. But this one doesn't seem to be there, which is weird, which is the only reason I wanted this particular one, because it's basically not a craftable one. That one's got some of the best arms on it. This one has... I'm still not sure if I prefer that helmet. Or that one. Or maybe that helmet. There is an easier way of having a look at this though. And that is to head back here and have a look. The only problem is I don't know if I want to take off the Prime set. Because that came from a Prime accessory pack quite a while ago and was very very overpriced for what you got with it but you can obviously just go to customize tenno i just wish there was an a b and c set up here rather than have to come in go down that by the way if, because people have been asking is the colors i used to get that eye technically there is two because there's one behind the patch but i like the patch rather than the earrings or the ears or the mask because I don't see people wandering around with that on that much. So I put that on and covered up the eye, but I do like the eye. The orange, like, circle in the middle. Anyway, <laughs> getting distracted. Um, different helmets actually do pop up here. Of course, that's the original one, but if I'm going to do that, I think the best thing to do would be to close it. That's the original one. That's the prime one. But I that I really do like. But that is much more subtle. Oh, wow. Actually, I 
now like this even more because you could leave it closed as it is there and still see the eyes. Then of course there is the other one, which to be fair, that is pretty big. I still like the original one, it is pretty sick looking. The Prime one of course, I still don't know about, I don't particularly like that one. That. Actually, I'm really tempted on leaving that on, but because I'm changing everything else, I'm going to take them off. It's the same with the suits. That one, with the weird helmet, looks pretty nice. This one looks kind of the same, because it's basically just a skirt type thing. And a chest plate. And where's the other one? That, however, is sadly kind of my favorite one because it's doesn't have too much going on well, this seems to be very busy that's just kind of really subtle but I want to leave that one on not a problem change the sleeves again sick looking even better ah oh, you see I don't know how people this is the big problem with things like fashion frame uh, you're just looking for something simple like putting arms on and there are so many different options I would leave them on because obviously that is what I have equipped because I have that prime thing on but no nope, that's going on because that does look pretty nice also that needs to come off but it's not gold now it's gold and of course lost all my colours both of them. <laughs> Legs is a similar problem. Deciding which one to go for, I think I would prefer them ones, just depends on if you're going for the full set of armor or just little bits. That one seems glitched somewhat. I think I definitely have to go with them ones. Kind of a combination between the Impossible to get chest piece because that uh, prime armor I was wearing to begin with is has not been obtainable for a while. The arms are like the creepy helmet because, to be fair, with those eyes behind it, that looks kind of weird. And the, the random skirt. So these things... You can just buy them, you can wear them in any combination. No, I'm not going to stick with the helmet, the helmet, the chest piece, because sadly, unless I can get a colour combination on all of it, it doesn't really match that well. <laughs> helmet, arms, that matches fine. From the back, it's not so bad, but hmm, probably just a case of colouring them to make them match. But you do not have to actually buy these things. You can level up the quills, get the blueprint, and for the first time, this is a... It's kind of like the helmets for Warframes. You can buy those, or you can wait, do an alert, get the blueprint for it. And it's the same with these. The operator outfits can be obtained from the quills standing, and that big thing sticking out the top of the helmet that makes him look like he's meant to be on a merry-go-round with a big pull through him yeah not a big fan of that but anyway we'll leave this off here for now as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time <laughs>